$100,000 with no bank statements and no income verification. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to walk into this bank, this very awesome bank and get over $100,000 with no bank statements, no income verification, and in many cases without it reporting on your personal credit report. I'm going to share it all with you. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. So let's get right into it. I'm Noel Randall. I'm a real estate entrepreneur, multimillionaire, author, speaker, mentor, mama five, and so much more. But the important thing is that I did not start there. I literally started bankrupt, broke, bad credit, multiple foreclosures, and literally living in my parents' basement. I was able to start learning how to invest, how to invest in real estate, and I was able to change my life to the person that you see today. So I'm gonna share with you some secrets that I've learned over the years, and more importantly, something that's going on right now that you could take advantage of that I wish I had when I was broke and bankrupt. So we're gonna be talking today about PNC. PNC is a national bank. They're not in every single state, but this is actually available in every, in all 50 states. It is amazing because PNC, you can literally go online and do many of the things that I'm talking about and get started, or you could go into a branch if you live near a PNC bank and you can open up account and get started. So let me share this with you. The first thing that you need to know is PNC is a great bank. I literally have a checking account with them. I've established a business relationship with them and I recently got approved myself. I have a big secret that I wanna share with you just a little bit later because I did not get approved when I first did this. So I wanna share with you how you get approved because they have so many great programs for business owners and they are an amazing resource to get $100,000 between a business credit card and a business line of credit when you combine those two. And they have several different options that I've been able to take advantage of. And this is amazing. So I want you to do the same thing. So the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to open a business checking account with PNC. This is not for your personal savings or your personal use. This is a business credit card and a business line of credit. So you have to actually have a business in order for this to work. Now, you don't have to be making millions of dollars with your business. There's no specific amount of money that you need to be making, but there are some other requirements that you need to know that I'm going to explain to you and some things that I learned trying this process for myself. So the first thing that you wanna do, of course, is open that business checking account in your business's name. So you walk into the bank or you go online, here's a quick screenshot to show you PNC's website and you can open up a business checking account. Now, PNC is a very conservative bank uh, and is how I would consider it. So you are going to actually have to have good personal credit. That is the first requirement of what I'm going to share with you in order for you to get approved for this. The second thing that you need to know is you're also going to have to personally guarantee this. Now, although it will not report on your personal credit report, it's not reporting on mine, I can say that you are, are actually going to have to get a hard inquiry, meaning they're literally going to approve, I'm sorry, pull your personal credit, and it is going to show as an inquiry on that report once you're approved and they actually use experience. So this is the part that I want to explain to you and then I'm going to come back to PNC. One of the things that you want to do before you start applying for different things is knowing which credit bureau they are going to pull. Now that I've told you they're going to pull Experian because now I know for a fact this is what I did, I can tell you that you can easily find out what your Experian score is for a very small amount. You literally can go to Experian.com, which is one of the credit bureaus. You know already that there's three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, in Experian. Well, go to Experian.com. You can set up an account for free. They will give you that one free credit score, but for a small amount, you actually can get access to all of your scores and some different scores for Experian. Okay. It's the Experian FICO 9 that PNC uses. Okay. And you literally can see which FICO score, you know, that you get access to and get access to the one that is FICO 9. And this is what PNC Bank will use. So again, if you don't know what your credit score is and if 
if you're not sure if it's over 700, I strongly suggest going to Experian.com first, checking what your score is, paying the small fee so that you can see what your Experian FICO 9 is, okay? So that's the second thing that I want you to do. Now let me get back to this PNC. So when you are in PNC, let me tell you some more um, of their requirements so again that you can actually get approved. I wanna share with you that I was not approved when I first walked in and did this because PNC is a very relationship bank. They're kind of conservative. So you will walk in there, you will get a personal, sorry, you will get a business checking account and then you will actually start to do transactions. They'll give you a debit card, start putting money into the account, taking money out and actually using the account. I literally walked in, opened the account and then applied for the line of credit. And even with my great credit score, I was declined. They did actually though approve me for the business credit card. But this is me showing you how you could get at least, you know, maybe up to $100,000 with no income verification and without showing any bank statements. So you might want to just start putting money into that account and using it so that you could show that you're actively using the account, wait about two or three months, and then go apply for the business line of credit it. You could apply for the business credit card right up front because I got approved for that. So I strongly suggest that you would, but the business line of credit, they are going to want to see more transactions from you. The second thing that you need to know is they are going to use your gross annual income in order to approve you for an amount. So they go off of about 10% of your annual income that you tell them that the business makes, the gross annual income. So if the gross annual income for your business, for example, is $500,000, then you will get approved, the max that you'll get approved for is 50,000, 10%. $800,000 gross annual income, 80,000. So again, a million dollars would get you that $100,000. Again, with no income verification, they will actually let you state on the application how much the gross annual income is and they will base it off of that and your personal credit score, again, which needs to be about 700 or higher on that Experian FICO 9. So in regards to how much you should apply for, I strongly suggest you apply for the max amount available. And I strongly suggest this because worst case scenario, PNC will counter offer you and lower the amount and still approve you. So say for example, you apply for the 50,000, but your credit score is maybe right at 700. So they don't approve you for the 50,000, even though you put up there that your annual gross income was 500,000. Well, they may counter offer and approve you for 40,000 or 30,000. Well, not bad. So again, I strongly suggest you apply for the max and let them counter you to a lower amount if they so choose. It cannot hurt. They usually don't approve you for more than you apply for, but they do sometimes approve you for less. So again, apply for the max. Another major thing that you need to know that they are looking for is they are looking for a low utilization on your credit cards. So PNC again is considered kind of conservative. Like I said, Noel Randall at the time had like a 740, 750 credit score and I was declined. I don't necessarily know why, but I think it was because I hadn't built up the relationship. This is kind of what my banker told me and he told me to come back in three months after doing some transactions, putting a few more dollars into that account. You know, I just put the minimum in there to open up the account and showing them that I was actually a business owner that has some transactions going and then I was approved. Well, they are also looking for a low utilization on your credit cards. So typically we think that our credit utilization should be 30% or lower, but ironically, crazily, PNC is looking for 10% or less. Like I said, they are very conservative and they will actually approve you for more the less that you have used your other credit cards. It is very strange, very crazy, but this is how you could easily get approved. And again, in many cases, you could do some transfer, some balance transfers to get your credit utilization low on all of your different credit cards so that you get approved. Now, the amazing thing about this is again, you can combine the business credit cards with the business line of credit credit so that you can get double the amount of funds for your business. Another amazing thing is that is this does not report on your personal credit report, although they do the hard inquiry on your personal credit and you are a personal guarantor. And if you want to do this, I have several other banks and lenders besides PNC and many of them actually have a much lower requirement. Literally, I want to invite you to an all day event where I'm teaching you about business credit, business funding, and how to grow your wealth using all of these different tactics. 
go to growyourwealthevent.com right now and get your tickets. Tickets are selling fast because tickets are less than $100 for a full day of interactive learning with me. You literally can take the class directly from your computer. You can raise your hand, you can ask questions, and we will be having a real event where you can learn all about this stuff, stuff that I'm not able to teach on social media, YouTube, TikTok, and all these other things, and actually help you grow your wealth and take you to that next level. Go right now to growyourwealthevent.com, use the link below, and you can even use code YouTube to save money on your ticket. Go now, tickets are selling fast, and I wanna teach you how to grow your wealth, how to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in business credit, and how to do this without risking your own personal credit. Growyourwealthevent.com, go right now, because I just wanna make sure that you have all of the knowledge, all of the tools, and all of the resources that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.